hit platform if you've always wanted to take a look behind the scenes at a publishing company then this one is for you and if you're interested in working in publishing yourself make sure to stay tuned until the end so what is it like to work in publicity at penguin random house uk which happens to be where we are right now and what does a book publicist do day to day they're the ones that shout about the books that make sure that they're on tv in newspapers and all over the internet but of course there is much much more today we're going to talk to three different people starting with harriet and claire who both work in publicity let's go hi i'm claire i'm a senior press officer in the children's pr department and i work on our ya and teen books Hello, I'm Harriet and I'm a publicity manager for Team Book here at Penguin Random House UK. So a lot of people ask me what is the main difference between marketing and publicity. With marketing, they will always have a budget. So they will have a chunk of money that they will use to spend in different ways to get people to read the book. So they will put adverts in magazines and papers. They will pay for social media advertising. But what publicists do is we use our contacts and our relationships with media influencers and we use that to get media coverage so that can be an interview on the tv or on the radio it can be a review of the book in a magazine or on a show or a blog so i really knew i wanted to work in publishing because i love books so i was lucky enough to come up to penguin where they did some presentations on all the different divisions within publishing and publicity was the thing that stuck out for me because it was all about shouting about the book sharing your passion and meeting the authors and get to spend time with them. So if I had to summarise my job in five points, I would say it is creating publicity campaigns, making sure they're as creative and strategic as possible for each book, organising lots of different events, anything from bookshop signings to our presence at the Young Adult Literature Convention. Building the relationship with the author is really important. Maintaining really good contacts, so going for lots of meetings with journalists and writing press releases and pitching out to media. So that's emailing, phoning, um, and trying to get lots of interviews and reviews and features. There are many skills you need to be a good publicist and here are some of our top tips. Organisation. A publicist is responsible for booking authors' travel, accommodation and organising tour schedules. You don't want to be sending an author to an event on a train that gets them in too late. So I thought we'd just go through your schedule for the evening. Um, so 5.47 I've got the taxi arriving for you and then 6.15 um, your book launch begins. How does that sound? A keen eye for detail. When you're a publicist you write a lot of press releases and this is the first thing a journalist or a blogger or a blogger is going to read before they read the book. So you've got to make sure you pick up on any typos or mistakes. Also, having a lot of creativity is really, really good. So that can be an eye for design, having photography skills, video filming, editing, and any kind of basic skills in Photoshop or InDesign. You also can be really creative in terms of writing because there's lots of different writing that you have to do. And really it's about telling stories and telling the author's story. Multitasking. A publicist's job encompasses so much from writing press releases, organizing travel, going to events, and talking to journalists. So you've got to be able to juggle a lot of things at once. Okay, so the author's bringing her baby with her and her sister to look after the baby. Okay, no no problem. So I have to tell you about the Sun is also a star. I need to put together the guest list for the launch party in a couple of months' time. Yeah, I need to write the press release for Juniper Lemon's Happiness Index. Yeah, I'll be sending that out to lots of bloggers and bloggers. I'm sure they'll be really excited about that. Oh, hang on, sorry, actually one second. Hello? Also, don't get used to sitting at a desk if you are out and about a lot. Keeping calm in a crisis. So things sometimes do go wrong. An author might miss a train, for instance. It is your job to keep a cool head, solve the problem, keep the author calm, and make sure everyone's updated on any change of plans. So something that I'm not very good at, but you should be, is being good at directions and geography. Because a lot of the time you are trying to find your way around towns and cities that you don't know, usually with an author in tow and maybe a box of books. And it really helps if you have a good sense of direction because it means you're not going to get lost and you're going to get your author there safely. My publicist desert island item is my phone for Google Maps. As a publicist, you are responsible for getting an author from A to B. Unfortunately, me and actually many other publicists are awful at directions, so Google Maps is my life saviour. <laughs> Working with young adult books, teen books, I work a lot with influencers. So that can be bookstagrammers, YouTubers, bloggers, and it's a really interesting way to get our books out there in a different way. I can find these influencers in loads of different ways. It can be trawling through YouTube, which is not too bad, just kind of watching videos, trawling through Instagram, Twitter, just finding any interesting ways that people are using books and book 
content. Sometimes it's sending out early proof copies, so um, early copies before the book is published. It's also sometimes inviting them to an, uh, events, launch parties or that kind of thing. And then also sometimes we get um, authors interviewed. Social media is now a key part of a publicist's role. Being out and about authors, you're constantly taking photos and tweeting them, putting them on Instagram, and you're also looking at social media for feedback from people who have come to events, people who have read the book and all that is really important. So it's really good if you know about these different platforms and if you can try and create a profile on things like Instagram and Twitter so you can make sure you're engaging with the right audience and seeing what other people are saying. One of my best memories so far of working in publicity has to be working with Emma Thompson on her children's picture book a couple of years ago. Um, I think one of the strangest memories I have is travelling back on the train with Emma and also a giant stuffed Peter Rabbit. And that is a snapshot into the life of a publicist here at Penguin Random House UK. And I can definitely promise you there is never a dull day. So now that you know what a publicist does, let's find out how you can become one. So now sitting down with Manisha who's going to tell us a bit more about a very exciting opportunity. Hi, I'm Manisha. I work in the recruitment team at Penguin Random House and uh, this year we're looking for for people to join us on the scheme which is our entry level program entry level basically means your first step in the door into publishing so um, it's kind of a great opportunity for anybody who wants to get a more knowledge or an insight into the industry and get some time working with our publicity teams so now that you know what the scheme is obviously we need to know what are the details how long is it for and how does it work so the scheme is a 13 month program starting in september this year um, we've actually done two schemes before, so one in 2015 um, looking for marketeers or marketing people and one in 2016 looking for editors of the future. And this year we're looking for four publicists to join us. Essentially it's going to be an application process with just three questions, mm -hmm. not really looking for CVs or traditional cover letters as you might expect for a job application. And we'll also be having video interviews later on in the process and two assessment days which are happening this summer. Oh and another thing about the scheme is that um, the application questions at the start will be completely anonymous so we won't get to see sort of who's behind the answers until later on in the process which is quite exciting actually it's a little bit different and uh, quite fun for us as well reading everyone's answers um, it is also a paid opportunity as well which is really important for us we think that publishing should be open to everybody no matter sort of where they're coming from so why do we have the scheme so the reason that we're doing the scheme for another year is because um, we want to look out for fresh new voices to join our company we think that publishing and our business should be as diverse and inclusive as possible it's really important to us that everyone is sort of represented in our business and that's also the reason why we don't require any previous publishing experience or knowledge as well so um, don't worry if you haven't worked in publishing before or had work experience with um, us or a publishing company before what we're really looking for is your potential and what you can achieve with us so now the most important question when do the applications open and where do you apply Yes, so applications are open now. Um, they open on Tuesday 21st of March and they'll be closing on um, 18th of April. So you can apply via our um, Scheme website, which will be in the description. All right, that was it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to apply to the Scheme. And if you have any questions, whether it's about the Scheme or working in publicity, feel free to leave a comment below and we'll try to answer as many questions as possible. I will put all details and links in the description, so make sure to check that first. If you liked this video and you want us to do more like this, do leave a comment with any suggestions below. That's all for me. See you next week. Bye!